<laughs> if modern day tools can be so irritating, imagine how patient early humans had to be to light their fires. Tools that we use? Well, to find out, we'll have to travel back in time to explore the burning question. Who discovered fire? Zoom in! The discovery of fire, or more precisely, the controlled use of fire, was one of mankind's first greatest innovations. And why not? After all, fire gives us light and warmth, helps us cook delicious food, aids in crafting tools and objects, and acts as a protector, scaring away animals that might harm us. Not just that, it also acts as a gathering spot for friends and family during special occasions where fun things happen. In essence, fire has played a vital role throughout human history. But who exactly invented it? And how was fire discovered? Well, unfortunately, nobody is exactly sure how or when people discovered fire. However, smart scientists have proposed a few theories that could shed some light on it. Yes, one theory suggests that in the ancient past, lightning strikes might have set fires in old forests, giving early humans a chance to see and use this powerful force. Another idea is that volcanic activity might have exposed humans to natural flames sparking their curiosity and leading them to experiment with fire. So it's certainly possible that fire was acquired naturally and maintained by using fuels for various purposes, such as cooking and heating. For a while, using fire was mostly about taking advantage of opportunities. But as time passed, our early ancestors might have found ways to create basic fires using sticks and flint as tools. Alternatively, our clever ancestors might have accidentally generated sparks by striking stones together, which could have led to the discovery of fire. While we don't have precise knowledge, some evidence suggests that Homo erectus likely mastered controlled fire around 2 million years ago during the Stone Age. This is supported by rusty patches of earth found at Oldowan hominid sites near Lake Turkana in Kenya. When it comes to outside Africa, the first evidence of controlled fire was discovered at the Lower Paleolithic Gesher Beno Yaakov site in Israel, dated 790,000 years old where charred wood and seeds were recovered. While we are still uncovering the tools used for that initial spark, we do know that eating cooked food helped our ancestors' brains grow larger and become smarter. As we became more adept, we used fire and heat to manipulate materials, creating sharper tools that eventually laid the foundation upon which we stand today. In modern times, we've come a long way with incredible inventions like matches and lighters that make it easy for us to create fire whenever we need it. We've also developed advanced stoves, ovens and grills that allow us to cook food using fire. Additionally, scientists have invented fire extinguishers to keep us safe in case a fire gets out of control. Why? Because it's crucial to be cautious when using fire to prevent any unfortunate incidents. To be prepared, please watch our video titled How to Survive a House Fire. Trivia time! Did you know that the first successful friction match was invented in 1826 by John Walker? He was an English chemist from Stockerton on Tees, County Durham. 
To learn more about this, check out our video titled The Invention of Matchsticks. You can find the link in the description below. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Quinn Eleanor. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.